maybe spot the trajectory or more the um, the direction the shuttle's coming from. Uh, Firebird here also finally getting a second factory, so he's going to start some heavier troop production now off two bases. Pure meanwhile trying to get his third, now has his first reaver out, and it is going to be blowed up into a shuttle. So we're going to see will the pure actually manage to do some decent harassment. There are tanks at the natural expansion all ready to defend. So it's going to be very dangerous to drop there, but are also turrets around the main, so we're going to see what we'll actually mention to drop in. Starport coming in for Firebat Hero, so he's going to be getting... Well, uh, either I don't know if he's going to be teching up all the way right now. I don't see really that as an option. I'm not seeing him using wraiths, really. Um, you know, not really. You, you need a very large number of wraiths to make him effective against Dragoons all over the place, but I assume that it will be he will be getting some dropships out. Dropships could help, and Vulture drops are very effective. Actually, the shuttle is going to come down. One Vulture takes the initial shot. Reaver comes into play. Oh, he's going to manage to almost kill the tank. Again, is going to manage to kill the tank, and now we're going to see what actually probably will not manage to take, out a take down another Scarab. Uh, I think what was maybe a little bit of a mistake for Pure, if he could have, he should have instead maybe loaded up two Zealots instead of loading up a Dragoon to sacrifice. Uh, then he wouldn't be able to drop two Dragoons. Now going to prevent the CV from building a turret, so that's a little bit there. Pure now has walled off his 9 o'clock base, so he's going to be running on three bases for just right now. But we're going to see if the Vultures might actually... Oh, Vultures are actually going to meet the probes. I think the probe transfer might have actually gone through. Never mind, the Vultures missed the probes. I think Pure got just safely through. Yeah, it does get safely through with the probe transfer. Uh, Farbit Hero had a little bit of a chance to catch a lot of probes and trends and take a large number of them out, but did not spot the probes. Uh, Templar Archives now coming up. I didn't, I didn't even notice Little Vadoon coming up, but Templar Archives coming up. So we're going to see some more Zealots down out on the field alongside what I assume to be High Templar. I don't really think Pure's going to go for Dark Templar at this point. High Templar to help him support against those tanks. Uh, High Templar drop would also be very successful. I don't see a lot of High Templar drops being used against Terrence these days. They're a lot more used against Zergs because High Templar are, are, you know, just regular troops you constantly use against Zergs. But against Terrence, they're more kind of a support troops, not really as part, as huge a part of the main army. Uh, Protosses tend to go much more the heavy Arbiter route, and Arbiters of course being so very, very gas heavy, never mind the upgrades, you gotta get them, and uh, really wait for them to get their energy up so you can start casting the spells, which of course can be cancelled very quickly with science vessels. Um, just Arbiters are, of course, such a huge investment that you can't always afford to have so many other troops, never mind the army you have on the ground. Firebird here just putting up a huge defense barrier, putting down turrets, moving some tanks right outside. Pure still trying to hold in a small, uh, partial contain, but not being too successful. Some bolts are going to meet a couple of Dragoons, one going to die. We were going to get some pot shots off. Just trying to stay out of the range of those tanks. Almost managed to get hit, though. I'm not quite... I think that barely missed the Reaver. Stargate Arbiter... Oh, ho, ho. Stargate and Arbiter Tribunal coming up for Pure. I think Pure might actually be taking a little bit too much. I'm not seeing him producing too many troops. He has added in two more gateways, but he's not really producing too much in the way of troops. He has that Reaver on the field. He has a decent large number of uh, Dragoons, but if those if they get caught in the minefield, they're they're done. That's it. If they get tank, uh, if they get attacked by serious tank fire, they're done. So he's going to be getting uh, what I assume to be High Templar alongside Arbiters and all of this off three bases. Off three gases is very much possible. He has to be very careful not to push himself. Farbit here now thinking of taking a, his third, the mineral only, just outside his natural expansion at the inside one o'clock. Managed to take that and hold that. He will be in a pretty disposition. Shuttle still just flying around trying to do some harass, but not going to be very successful with all those siege tanks spread out like that. Pylons being put down, possible for uh, possible base purposes. Pure thinking of taking his taking his fourth. Pure st has most likely at this point a little bit of economic uh, a little bit of economic advantage even though Firebit or more like equal because Firebit Hero had his natural up much sooner but Pure's been mining off three bases longer than Firebit Hero and he is going to be able to take and hold his fourth a little bit sooner. Now just thinking of taking his fourth at just outside his natural, the inside 11 o'clock. So he is going to be on four bases while Firebit's going to hold on uh, on three, I'm sorry, it has his science vessel now out and adding in more factories. Firebitter here actually does go for very quick tech all the way up. Is going to try to use the science vessels, not just to counter those arbiters, of course, but also to counter some forces. Oh, man. A luck, unlucky scarab there for pure. Should have been able to catch some SCVs. Should have been able to do a lot of damage, but uh, Firebit here pulling his forces away just in time to prevent that from happening. A uh, random vulture getting caught out in the field by dragoons. Finally, now a decent troop production coming in from Pure, adding in some uh, Fulton cannons all over his bases for defensive purposes, just to prevent uh, something coming in, just to prevent most likely some sort of drops. 
Still has Reavers inside of his shuttle. Still has a lot of Dragoons out in the field. Finally now adding in some other troops. First, Arbiter also now out in the field. We're going to wait until that managed to do something. Turn dropship coming in from the north side. We're going to see whether... Okay, there are a couple of tur cannons there. So we're going to actually see whether it actually managed to do something. Pure now going for another drop using... Start off... Oh, a Zealot manages to catch several SCVs. I think it was maybe four, maybe five mines that be put down for Firebird here to prevent that from ever happening again. Pure clearing up some mines. Maybe we're thinking of taking yet another base. Has, at this point, I believe, established his fourth the inside 11 o'clock. And is going out trying to do some economic damage, but Fireman Hero in overall pretty solid position. Trying to round around with his dropship would get spotted by an observer, which the dropship probably does not even notice. A lot of vultures down the field going to try to get some, a little bit close to these Dragoons. Plant some, down some mines. One Dragoon's going to go down to one mine, but mostly this is just Fireman Hero putting down a defensive perimeter, forcing Dragoons back. It's pretty much completely uh, no contain yet on the f anymore on the field for Pure, so he doesn't have really any control over Fireman Hero anymore. Fireman Hero can pretty much go around the map, do whatever he wants, but now Pure is going to be put down Yet another base at the, what is that, 8 o'clock, let's say that. Some by Templar is now also out in the field, just set, running around separately. That's very interesting, uh, running around to join the force. Farbit here, we're going to see, actually get, trying to go for a dropship at the lower left. But, of course, Pure had spotted that with the Observer, probably knew what was going on there, instantly taking that out. You can, far Pure not looking very happy about that, not going to manage to do any sort of economic advantage. And Pure, i got to say, has a sizable lead at this point. He has, well, both players have a pretty large chunk of forces, but I think Pure just has a more ready force. Uh, he has a lot of Dragoons, a lot of other forces, but uh, no no upgrades critically, no single forge up for him. So in that regard, i got to give the advantage to Farbit here. I believe he has 1-1 one, one at this point, maybe even 2-1. One, 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 oh, one Templar almost goes down to a mine, barely managed to survive. I know he definitely has one armor of Farbit here. I think he had two armies, so I believe at this point he already has 2-1 upgrades. Pure just now getting his weapon upgrades, I believe. One random observer there being taken out by Goliath. So both forces just building up, both players building up forces. Firebit here at three bases. Pure is going to be taking his fi is taking his fifth. So really, one player has to do something. You know, Pure is actually going to go for attack. Has an arbiter moving in close. Probably going to stay. He's managed to catch a large group of tanks alongside of Goliath. Has actually two arbiters on the field. So really helping out all the dragoons taking out a lot of the mines. Even. Uh, Lord of the Zealot taking a lot of mines. Second stasis that caught a lot of force alongside a science vessel. I think the Arbiters actually went down, but now we're even Reavers in play alongside all the Dragoons are coming in. Storms coming off, hitting some tanks there on the right side. Reavers still in play, and another Storms coming in. Even more Dragoons now forcing themselves inside of here. Another Arbiter coming in to support, though. The Reaver critically is going to get off a scarab right amongst that SCV line. Firebit here now in a lot of trouble. We're going to lose all of those SCVs there. All of its forces as soon as they get out from their stasis is going to be in a lot of trouble.